Most of the big shore places were closed now, and there were hardly any lights except the shadowy, moving glow of a ferry boat across the sound. And as the moon rose higher, the inessential houses began to melt away, until gradually I became aware of the old island here that flowered once for Dutch sailors' eyes. A fresh green breast of the new world. Its vanished trees had once pandered in whispers to the last and greatest of all human dreams. For a transitory, enchanted moment, man must have held his breath in the presence of this continent. Face to face, for the last time in history, with something commensurate to his capacity for wonder. F. Scott Fitzgerald. I think New York has always been marked by an exchange process. Uh, being a port culture, being founded on trade, it's not just a trade of material goods, but it's a trade of ideas, it's a trade of people, it's a trade of things. And in that exchange process, one of the most important things, the underlying, undergirding thing that's being exchanged is really desires. You have this constant striving for moving up, for uh, attaining something. And uh, out of that process, you have this kind of constant feeling that somehow where you are is not sufficient and you want to move uh, up higher. Well, I would say that a very important part of it, something I understand completely coming as I do from Brooklyn, is the element of yearning. If you go to Long Island City, if you go to Brooklyn Heights and look across the water to Manhattan, you have a sense of a goal that may or may not be reached by poor old you, but which makes you feel this is the most important thing in the world, you see. Someone said years ago that the longest journey in the world is from Brooklyn to Manhattan, and that's absolutely true. I used to live for years on a street called Pineapple, uh, very near the Brooklyn Bridge. I walked across the bridge every day. Um, even there, you were full of yearning for what lay on the other shore. Now that is, of course, the very essence of any transcendental emotion. Visible, almost in your hands before you get it, and the feeling there is very strong. I've never, even now, when I used to walk across the bridge, never gotten to lower New York and walked around without feeling that I had accomplished something extraordinary, which had nothing to do with the mile or mile and a half, whatever it was. It had to do with the feeling that I had entered into a different civilization. And of course, Manhattan is New York. Well, Queens is very lovely. The Bronx has a lot of real history and it's very interesting. But the action that we know about is always in Manhattan. And that action is contributed to by the people who live elsewhere. They have created Manhattan in a way by living outside of it, ironically enough. That is, they have wished for something rich and joyous in their lives, and that's what they found in the world of opportunity, in the world of accomplishment. <laughs>